Hi there, Chris here, another quick tip for you all. In this video, we are going to continue our look at painting Marathi on foot. And as you can see here, we have the base all ready to go. This has been primed in Vallejo's light gray with a Badger Patriot 105 spraying at around 20 PSI to apply this. Uh, I have it mounted onto a handle here just uh, for ease of handling because I don't like, you know, handling things too often. I'm going to use uh, Citadel's Steel Legion Drab. This is their air variety. I'm going to use a Patriot 105 to apply this. Again, I'm spraying it around 20 PSI to lay this base coat down and it goes on fairly quickly here I spray around the sides and then you know from the top and just get some of the other little odds and angles and things like that try not to lay it on too heavily just get a nice even coverage Carrick stone is next and this is from Citadel air I'm gonna use again the badger or I'm gonna switch to the chrome uh, sorry I'm gonna switch to my chrome but I'm still staying at around I, I do believe I turned just below 20 psi uh, probably could have left it at 20 PSI, it would have been fine. And then you can see here I'm spraying, uh, just basically going for like the, uh, the big stone parts, uh, concentrating on those little, the little skulls as well. Um, change the angle slightly just to get the tops of those stones uh, and uh, get the uh, edges and corners and such. Terminatus Stone is next, and this is Citadel Air, sticking with the Renegade Chrome. Uh, we've turned the PSI down to about uh, 15, 10, somewhere around that, and just getting in nice and close and just working on just the edges. You can see I'm spraying at an angle where I'm catching just the front edge of those uh, steps, as it were, um, building up just a little bit of highlight along those portions there. Uh, also, you know, we're spraying just uh, along the outer edges. Really, it's just the overspray just to get a bit of a gradient along the edges of these areas. Uh, along the side here, we do a bit of a zenith little straight down the side of the wall here where the little kind of like, I don't know, those little banister poles are, whatever, whatever, whatever the heck they are. Agrax Earthshade is next. Uh, we're going to take a heavy helping of this. We're going to take a heavy helping of Lamy and Medium and mix as well as a drop or two of Liquitex Flow Aid. As I do not want to tint the, um, the overall feeling of the base too heavily, and I concentrate most of those with shade wash on the rock portion, but then I begin to um, apply it to the uh, stones themselves, the uh, steps and such, just to really bring out those little details and everything like that. Basically get a bit of weathering, but then uh, really quickly I use my finger and just wipe the excess off from the main flat portions of each of those little steps as well. Once it's dry, I'm gonna come in with some known oil. This, I'm just gonna concentrate just on the broken rock parts, as you can see here. And I'm gonna push the color up towards the highest point. And basically just all the little rough earth areas and, you know, just all that little craggy textures and such. And basically just going to hit all those areas with this non oil. A little bit of the earth texture that runs along the edges, but we're not hitting any of the, um, the uh, flat portions of the stone with any of this. So do be mindful of that when you are working your way around. Of course, once that is dry, we're going to come in with some screaming skull. What we're going to do is we're going to dry brush this. I just grab my little medium dry brush and then begin just simply very lightly catching the corners and the edges. Uh, basically just going for all the edges of each of the little areas, picking out the little uh, stone texture on the uh, ground and such and little skulls and just going for all the little corners just to really kind of bring uh, each of those little areas into uh, relief as it were. And you can see here again, we're just, we're not too concerned with, you know, trying to apply this color onto any of the flat surfaces. Again, this is just merely to bring out all the texture again of course once we're done with that we're going to come in with some worn fang brown and this is for the lip of the uh, base and that'll pretty much be it you can see here we're simply just going to apply it no thinners needed we're just going to simply work our way around and again this is why i like to have the handle as well so that i don't have to handle that little lip and potentially get my fingerprints on it and such so that's it it's as easy as that well, I hope you found that quick tip useful and informative. You can watch another quick tip today on miniwargaming.com's vault. Just click on the link in the video description below to watch it right now. If you're not already a vault member, you can sign up for a free seven day trial. Be sure to sign up for the silver membership and that will give you instant access to over a thousand painting tutorials already in our vault. And again, thank you for watching, commenting and subscribing and happy wargaming.